coming at you with another video. That is my exciting intro. <laughs> I thought you were going to have a joke of the week. Remember last week? Oh. You had the... So how is it going, everyone? So what we're going to talk about, as you see in the title, it's a Leah Jordan video. And Lorden. Lorden, <laughs> Wobs. These two people are going to go down in history books as OTPs. Even if they don't end up together. Dubs. They are OTPs, once repairs. Pair of doves. A pair of They're geese. We keep seeing geese. They're, they're yeah. paired up. Where we live, there's a bunch of geese, and there's always two of them. Exactly. I guess let's kind of go back. Uh, as we remember, the there was an international break for um, Woso, and the lionesses had were participating in the Arnold Cup. We know that uh, the lionesses won. We also know that Leah and Jordan were both uh, selected on the roster for that. On. tournament so they played it was great it was actually very exciting they won they were pumped then after arnold cup comes back it is wsl is back and they're back playing games which is also exciting also we saw tobin we're actually gonna make another video about that tobin's back you know arsenal squad is back playing they actually had a match against liverpool they won four nil they had a game against reading they had won four nil and then a game against birmingham city and they won four two you could say they're playing and slaying. Really are. <laughs> they're winning, and a lot of people are getting in the action. Leah Williamson actually scored a goal, I believe, against the Reading match. Yeah, against she scored, and it's always fun to see Leah score. Yeah, can't stop, won't stop. I know, I love it. So she's back. So a lot of the good things are going on for Lionesses and Arsenal right now. Uh, you know, th this year for Leah and Jordan, it has been different. You know, as we remember last year. 2021 slash 2020 is when, you know, they officially kind of made a stance what what they were all about, you know, love, lovers, mm -hmm. you know, partners, pairs, they kind of made it clear. Then by the end of the year, they had kind of pulled back on that, you know, the posts about each other were gone. And yeah. then by the end of this year, um, actually, we gotten some emails about it too, or we'd gotten some DMs about it, they officially again have unfollowed each other. And we have seen that in the past where they, you know, they've been together or they've been friends slash together for five, six years. So this is a long term friendship, relationship, partnership. This yeah. is five, six years. And, you know, it looked like they had unfollowed each other. And, you know, that's pretty significant. Do you think that's significant? I mean, yeah. But does it mean end all be all? No. Exactly. Exactly. So they unfollowed. But if you remember our video we did about maybe a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago at this point, where um, Leah had gotten hurt on the field and Jordan was the first one to go make sure she was okay. Then Jordan was the one who knelt by her to make sure she was okay. So she was there. Then the ne that same week is when Beth Mead was doing the TikTok and that Leah had posted Jordans and they oh, were okay. together. Yep, and yep. So, so we know that they're still friends. I mean... Obviously, they're still teammates, but they, they seem like they're still friends. Those were significant, but those were very on the field type things slash, you know. But the other day, something happened. And we're going to kind of take a look at this. If you go to the Instagram, um, Jordan and Arsenal posted that officially it was Jordan Nobbs. She has 250 appearances with Arsenal. 250 with Arsenal. That is massive to play with one club. She's still relatively young. I think she's 28. And legend. she's a legend. I mean, she's iconic. A, you know, Arsenal, she will be one of the Arsenal's, she'll be one of Arsenal's most known. Most eligible bachelor. Oh, that too. She'll yeah. be one of their most known players throughout history. She's played with them for so long. So yeah. she posted, and the first thing we're gonna look at is Jordan posted a picture and she posted her, and then she says, 250 appearances, 11 years of giving my whole heart to this club, memories to last a lifetime. And then- oh, That's a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so if you look in the um, comments, a lot of people, Beth Mead says, proud of you, bestie, my hero. Um, then Steph Catley says, one of a kind, Ella Toon, Class Jord, uh, Caitlin Ford, the best, Lee Walty, proud of Okay, so a lot of her co-teammates, uh, friends, uh, put a comment. Then, if you look, you see Leah Williamson. She commented and she said, "Underrated." Whoa, whoa! I'm shaken by this. Yes, 
that just goes to show you how highly she thinks of Jordan. Whether or not. Yeah, no matter what. Whatever the relationship is right now, she truly respects her as a football player as well as a friend, you know. True. True that. And yeah. was I surprised to see that? No, I mean, I wasn't necessarily surprised to see that, but I was kind of. It kind of t- it was very touching. You were a little turned on. after <laughs> after everything that's happened with them to see that whether it doesn't even matter if they're together or not at this point, but to see her say that and have Leah say that underrated and you know we love supportive yeah people. that was something and so I mean I thought that was very special so she posted that and then after she had the two hundred fifty appearances. Arsenal had put up a post. It's a 250 appearances Jordan Nobbs, a true club legend, an outstanding midfielder, and inspiration to our fans. We're so proud of you, Jordan. Yeah, so they had posted that. And so uh, Jordan had reposted on her story. A lot of the teammates, I don't have a lot of the screen caps, but uh, a lot of people had posted it on their screen that said, like, Steph Catley. Um, I saw Leah Walty. I don't see hers I don't have a scram cap of hers, but Katie McCabe, Caitlin Ford. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people's teammates had posted kind of just like, congrats, kind of acknowledging it and so pumped. Then Leah Williamson actually posts uh, this on her story. 250 appearances for any club is incredible, for, but for Arsenal, playing in the teams that you have is just clap, clap, clap. Congratulations, Jordan Nobbs, a true gooner, club legend, and unbelievable footballer. Yeah. Did I sound too American saying gooner? <laughs> no, you're just right. Gooner? Just right. Just right. <laughs> so she put that. And again, you know, very touching. That just goes to show you, obviously, she knows Jordan's amazing. And remember, when Jordan didn't make the Olympic squad, that's when they were very much together, it seemed like, over the summer, when or at the beginning of the summer, when Leah was gutted. Remember, we did the video about yeah. how she thought Jordan not making the squad was, she was gutted for Jordan. Right. And to see her say this now, it's kind of like, you know, that's, ma- no matter if they're together or not, for her to still be able to say that. Because I think sometimes when people have breakups, even if it's completely mutual, even if it's amicable. Yes. Even even in times like that, it's hard to even acknowledge some of these things because even if there isn't hurt when you've spent so much time with someone and not to be with them, maybe as a partner anymore, that's hard, you know. She's such a big fan of Jordan. So I think that was really cool and a lot of very touching. Yeah, we I love to see that. Yeah. Love it. Because I, I kind of think of some other, you know, aren't now I think of like even like when Rachel Daly and Christy Mewis broke up, they still played on Dash for a while. They seemed like they were cordial, but they did not seem like they were really friends again. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and every situation is completely different, but whether or not they're together or not. OK. Why do you. OK, this is the speculation part of the program. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why do you think they have them following each other on Instagram. Okay. I was just thinking this yeah. in my mind. So if you think they're friends or going along, what's going So, you know, what do you think? No, this is my true, honest opinion. Okay. Somebody hacked their accounts. <laughs> is that your true, honest opinion? Yes. Okay. And they unfollowed each other because they knew it would bring the drama. So they don't actually know they're unfollowing each other. Okay. I, they don't know they're not following each other. And that is my speculation. That's any, my theory. Any other speculation? No, nope, that's the only one I got. Um, yeah, you know, I've done a little bit of thinking about this. Meaning, why why would I think if someone is still seemingly friends or friendly or on good terms, would they unfollow them on Instagram? It's an accident. Accident. Accident or... And they forgot to follow each other back. May, I mean, I could actually say that way accidentally because I've done that before. I've accidentally unfollowed someone. And yes, I, and then I and then it's the awkward thing where... You have to refollow. You have to refollow them. Yeah. So they think that you've unfollowed them, but then you're following them or they think you've... Right. Or, <laughs> you know, I kind of thought... This. Okay, say they are broken up. Say they are officially not, you know, romantically together anymore. I do think when you are not romantically with your partner who you were with, with a long time, then... You might just not want to see their regular posts. You know, it might be hard. It's just like, it's actually pretty healthy to say, I'm 
I don't want to see their posts if it brings any sadness to you. That's just my thought. Maybe they're just like, I don't want to see if someone's with another person or something. They just they just don't want to have to even look at it because it might either be hurtful or it's almost like another chapter in their life. Mm. They just want to move on to another chapter of their relationship. Okay, I feel that. Or the other thing is they've they're completely together still and like we read that comment last video that they're just private now. Mm. That's an, another So many theories. So they floating. I don't know. Yeah, they might be 100% together, Hundred, you know, they might just be on the DL and just said, we're going to unfollow, we're not going to do the follow, unfollow thing anymore, it's just we're not going to follow, and we are together, but we're not going to talk about it. Whoa. I think it could be that too. But I do think the fact that they, especially Leah posting that, and uh, underrated, I mean, you just, just tells you how much she thinks about Jordan and how much she still... Thinks of her as a person, as a teammate. And respects her. And respects her, yeah. All about respect. Yeah, and I mean, it's been a hard year for Leah, too, getting her and in the end of last year. So, I don't know. What does everyone think? Were you surprised when you saw this that Leah had written this? Um, were you not surprised? Only they know. They Only they know. Yeah. What does everyone think? And congratulations, um, Jordan Nobbs. So freaking cool. Legend. 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 Um... And I think, you know, and I still, I think, still think a lot of people want to see her play more, have Jonas have her play a little more. So hopefully that yeah, comes. Love to see it. Yeah. Questions, comments down below. What did everyone think? Uh, there's a lot of other exciting things coming up. So look out for new videos coming up pretty soon. Yeah. But um, yeah, what do you everyone think? We'll talk to everyone later. All have right, a good night. I'm going to go eat a croissant. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>